Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about company formation in Singapore. This is Jeet and here's all you need to know about doing business in Singapore. Officially known as the Republic of Singapore, it is a tropical island country in Southeast Asia. It is considered as one of the excellent financial centers across the globe and over the years it has developed into a successful free market economy. There are a number of reasons why businesses wish to have a presence in Singapore. Singapore is located strategically between Malaysia and Indonesia and offers excellent connectivity to other destinations. It is one of the most competitive global economies and also has one of the world's busiest ports making it an important international trade link. Singapore's economy is politically stable, the government is business friendly and it is also one of the least corrupt countries in the world. Companies in Singapore are subject to a low tax rate of 17% and are also eligible for certain tax exemptions. Singapore has produced highly productive and diversified workforce which is competent to meet the challenges posed by growing businesses. Singapore offers strong IP protection and quick and effective dispute resolution. The most common structure for foreign-owned companies is a private limited company that is a PT limited. Now we'll move on to the requirements to form a private limited company in Singapore. Minimum one shareholder is required. The shareholder can be an individual or a corporate entity and there are no nationality restrictions on the shareholders. At least one director is required in a PTE limited and minimum one director should be a local Singaporean. The minimum paid up capital required is SGD1. However, keeping the requirements of the bank in mind, the capital should be kept considerable. A local registered office address is mandatory. An appointment of local company secretary is also required. Moving further, the following details and documents are required in the company formation process. List of three proposed names in order of preference. A detailed description of the business activity and SSIC code. The details of the share capital such as number of shares, par value, etc. A copy of the passport and national ID card of individual shareholders, directors and the ultimate beneficial owners. Copies of the CVs of the individual shareholders and directors. And in case the shareholder is a corporate shareholder, a copy of their PAN card, a certificate of incorporation and MOA and AOA would also be required. It usually takes a week to incorporate a company in Singapore. We assist our clients in preparing all relevant documentation, company formation, provision of a local registered office address, provision of a local company secretary, corporate bank account opening, and other maintenance and compliance services such as accounting, payroll processing and compliances, preparation of financial statements, filing of annual reports and tax returns. If you found this helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one. Thank you. To know more, you can write us on internationalbusiness at the rate choiceindia.com or you can contact us on 022 67